Okay, people, so today is the day. It is August 26, one week ago today. I planted a, I'm not planted. I started a gazillion seeds from a dragon fruit. Um, so this is part three of the dragon fruit video series. These are the dragon fruit that I just showed you in the last one. And we're gonna open this up and you'll see what a difference it has made since the last video. And I'm not sure what day that was, but I think it may have been last Wednesday or Thursday, a few days ago, maybe three days ago. But as you can see, they have, looks like I have, if not 100% germination, darn near close to it. I also have these over here in the bucket. And these are actually further along than the ones in the plastic bag with the uh, paper towel. Now the only difference, both of these were put in my greenhouse. Um, the only difference is one was in the bucket and it was left uncovered and that's that one. And the other was put in the plastic bag on a wet paper towel. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see the paper towel did not do as well as the bucket for whatever reason. But anyway, I am putting them in some vermiculite, some mushroom compost, and some sphagnum peat moss. And there's my little mixture. I don't do a particular ratio. I just mix it until I feel like it's right. And so it's here. And what I have put the soil in is my little uh, toilet paper rolls. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what's wrong with my sinuses. Anyway, if you haven't never saved your toilet paper rolls, it's a good idea to save them, especially if you are doing um, potting projects like this, because they are the perfect size for little seedlings. All I do is I tape the bottom. That way, when you repot them, you don't have to disturb the roots. Um, I also use another method. Let me find another method I use. Um, I will do that as well, cut them into four flaps, fold them down, and put a piece of tape across the bottom. But I got lazy, so I said, hmm, why don't I just squeeze it shut, put a piece of tape across it, and call it a day. So that's what I did. So I'm about to use my little tweezers. I have tweezers here. And I'm going to pot these babies up. I have 54 uh, toilet paper rolls. And I know that's not going to be enough, but I'm going to do what I can do. And if I have to repot them into something bigger later, I will do that. So for now, that's it. And I'm going to update you later with the progress. Thanks for watching. See you in a little bit.